Hey there, gamers and raiders. You are listening to Dungeon Grove Radio, your source for the latest WoW news and updates. I am your no frills, no fuss, just facts, and maybe a little bit of vibes host, B. Now, if you want to jump ahead or you want to see where these articles are, the timestamps and the links are down in the description below. So let's portal into today's news for the 19th of January, 2024. Mount up for the Outland Cup. Make your way through the dark portal to dash through the skies of the Outlands with a new dragon riding race event available in the shattered remnants of Draenor. The riders of Azeroth invite dragon riders to complete the race through the Outlands. Talk to Lord Andrasraz in Valdraken for more information. Win January 18th through 31st. Where begins in Valdraken, Stormwind, and Orgrimmar. With 13 races spread across the Outland, Dragon Riders will have a sky full of options for challenging courses in normal, advanced, and reverse variations. Trek to Valdraken to speak with Lord Andasras near the Rostum of Transformation to pick up the initial quest and complete it for Riders of Azeroth badges, which can be exchanged for unique items and rewards from Masatha, also in Valdraken. Rewards for a Fancy Flight Complete all the Outland Cup races on gold to earn the Outland Racing Completionist Gold Achievement, the Outland Racer title, and the Ruby Rider of Azeroth Tabber. In addition, some rewards can also include a manuscript of endless possibilities that randomizes mount customizations each time, each time you mount, pieces to build the fashionable adventure, the Outlandish Drake Racer set, and more. Outlandish Drake Racer's transmog set includes a helmet, scarf, shoulder pads, jersey, hand wraps, belt, leggings, boots, and Drake Racer scarf. Dragon Customizations Renowned Proto Drake Dual Horned Crest Windborn Velocidrake Drake Curled Horns Highland Drake Sweep Spike Head Cliffside Wilder Drake's Large Tail Spike If everything else has been purchased, you can repeatedly buy Valdrakan Accord Insignia. The sky's the limit unless you're trying to beat the timer. May the winds be at your back as you go for the gold. Leap into hoppy adventures with the Hoplit Pet. Leap into new and hoppy adventures with a fluffy friend by your side. The Hoplit Pet, outfitted with a festive Lunar New Year's fashion, will be available in the Battle.net shop for a limited time and will scamper away on February 29th, 2024. Hoplit is ready for fuzzy fun and will join you immediately after your purchase and activation. Once activated, Hoplit will be applied to your present and future World of Warcraft characters on a single regional Battle.net account and will appear in each character's collection interface. Requires World of Warcraft subscription or game time, not available in World of Warcraft Classic games. Now, if you're thinking this battle pet looks a little familiar, that's because if you have a six month recurring subscription, this was actually a reward that you got last year that was a battle pet that was in the classic realm. So if you ended up getting that, you actually do have this pet in classic, but now it's just available on retail. Finishing off the news today, we have hot fixes for January 18th, 2024. Classes, Death Knight, Frost. Frost Scythe now works with Bone Grinder talent. Fixed a bug that prevented the spell alert from killing machine with fatal fixation from visually displaying stacks correctly. Fixed a bug that caused a sound effect issue with Glacial Advance. Shaman resolved the issue causing the Astral Defense talent to increase area of effect damage taken instead of reducing it. Dungeons. In Mythic Plus difficulties, afflicted souls will no longer be treated as players. Dark Heart Thickets fix the issue that corrupted pools can linger on players. Arc Druid Gladiol's Primal Rampage no longer damages pets. Dawn of the Infinite's Galakrog's Fall. Fixed a Chronicer issue where Eon Shatter's ground triggering visual sometimes failed to appear. Waycrest Manor. Fix a Heartsbane trade issue where the aura of one of the sisters could linger on players after they lost the iris. Player versus player. Fixed an issue where fragile petals was not being cancelled when entering a battleground. Fixed an issue where attaining blood token in Zarlik Caverns and Emerald Dreams was not contributing to bloodstained bounty, blood bank, or prosperly bloody achievements. Quests. Players who found themselves unable to pick up a little hope is never without 
without worth. To return to the Grove of the Emerald Dreams to continue, providing the plant growth phase is complete. Fixed a bug preventing several steps of the Blue Dragon Flight questline, the Viled Ossery, from appearing. Travel. Remove the Battle for Azeroth Pathfinder requirements for dragon riding in Kul Tiras and Zandalar. Let me know down in the comments what you found interesting about today's news and updates. Well, that'll do it for today, but don't you hearthstone away just yet. We will have more WoW news and updates as they become available. So keep your sword sharp and your spells primed. Until next time, this is me signing off from the Realm Radio Waves. Remember to stay legendary, stay groovy, and may your loot be ever epic.